This is really cool. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're probably gonna have a match where, um, you know, one looks really cool than the other, and, and you know, one just loses. <laughs> no bias, by the way. No bias <laughs> at all here. Absolutely no bias Zero. whatsoever. <laughs> Right, Roy's top five, uh -oh, please. And, <laughs> and Fire Emblem on Smashville is the way to start, but if there's one thing that every player basically needs to know about this game is that all the Fire Emblem characters are all very good. They're all very good on Smashville, and you have to have your parry times on point, especially against Roy, who does, in fact, throw out a lot of buttons. Some of them much more safe than the other, but as long as Roy is getting, is moving forward at full speed, he doesn't need to worry about sometimes uh, his lack of acceleration because he's already in your face. But Tilde thrives when people are in his face, thrives when people are in scramble situations, because Falco has tools for that as well. He has m much bigger, slightly disjointed buttons to contest with the constantly running in Roy and a combo game to match that damage output. I mean, not only that, it's just look, it's Holy just the Lord. fact that, you know, Roy isn't really able to space any of their moves whatsoever, that they end up just, you know, missing a lot of just really potential options that could just be really detrimental to, you know, their opponent. However, we're just seeing a situation where, you know, Tilde is just completely avoiding that by just understanding that they just need to just stay in one spot and just take it and run with it. Oh, I love the idea of a ledge trump there. He needs something to get back into the, into this game. But Tilde kind of being very, very suffocating at this ledge. Calling out the air dodge is car flow, but it's hard to get through to Tilde once he's uh, once he starts to get going a little bit. And the coverage, the power of all of these moves that he's been throwing out, it's it's circum circulating around what Carflow has been doing, which is oftentimes over committing in neutral. Look at how many times Tilde just ends up walking backwards, standing there, waiting, seeing what's going on, then making his move, then going in and forcing Carflo to jump, and it's not all that hard to force a roar to jump. Mm -hmm. And let me point out something too, only because we've seen a lot of situations where Tilde will just overshoot the ledge intentionally because they know that Carflo has not done a single thing to counteract all these moves. Aside from that up there, that will take the <laughs> side. But that's not the point. The point is that they've consistently lost so much damage to the point where it's just like they're on their last stock right now because every single time that, you know, Tilde was recovering, they get they got hit by Falco Phantasm into death. Or into just a, a whole bunch of damage. All right. It looks like Tilde was looking for some sort of roll in order to cover with that up smash. Nothing doing quite yet. Though he is playing very safely around. It gets the Phantasm back to center. And you know what? Falco up smash, everybody. Let me let me tell you about Falco up smash. Not only is it relatively strong, not as strong as his other spacey counterparts, but it is one frame faster than Fox's up smash. And since it is a multi-hit, it makes it a more effective anti-air on top of having less FAF, uh, mm -hmm. first, ac lag, first actionable frame. Oh, we got the enhance. It's not, there it is, there's that up smash. It is so unbelievably strong of an option. Thank you, John. <laughs> I mean, they also could have done something too because that was actually first hitbox of, you know, Falco Phantasm and they were able to jump. They should have just gotten away pretty safely. Um, I honestly think that Ooh. Along with Falco, oh. it's just a very big um, matchup check to 87, huh? 87, you don't already know? Yeah, it, it's it so nice, Falco. We in New York. What's up? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I know. No, I it's, know. I know it's, you love being in New Jersey and uh, going to Fusion and whatnot, but we in New York. We got hands out here. What's going on? So, Tilde should come out to a Fusion one of these days as he's <laughs> looking for a read like that. Unfortunately, not able to get off the platform with the Phantasm. Has to wait out. It has to wait out this advantage from Carpo, who's been doing a phenomenal <laughs> job, but the trade on his up smash. It's most of the time why you oh see God. Roy don't use that move, I suppose, but here we are. That could have resulted in his stock, but not quite Which, finding it was Tilde, and Carpo but, but, makes the most of it. But, but, did you just see? How, that, that looked like it was supposed to be a back air. How does a back air beat out a fair? I don't get it. Anyways, um, getting into this, we're gonna get that drag down fair into a down tilt. Very nice from Tilde. They were just as surprised about that as I was, but 
it doesn't even matter because they're gonna start, um, you know, getting this damage in like they're getting right now. Gonna miss that instant double jump up air, but it doesn't matter because, uh, you know, Carflow is gonna retaliate with the quick little 10%. Yeah, it looks like Carflo has kind of chosen this stage in order to not only have the platforms and the variability that comes with the more uh, the greater center stage area in order to make certain his landings get through a little bit more, but also having up the out of shield to get to these platforms. And fortunately for him, Fal uh, Tilde and Falco's Tilde more specifically loves to poke through these platforms. He loves to shark landings. And he loves to shark platforms. As we see the drop through on the back, uh, drop through said platform onto the back air as Tilde regains his lead. Look at that! <laughs> it hit behind him. Foxes doesn't do that. <laughs> well, it does. It just kind of. Yeah. Good. It's just super weak and not worth it. <laughs> Oh, speaking of it, like a quick 68 on Carflow's part, on uh, Tilde's part to get Carflow back up to what could be kill percent if he finds the right confirm. He could be seeing an, a down to, a down air or a drag down there or maybe all of it put together in order to find the back air and oh close my. out the game. That's crazy. Just, just wipe his hands clean. No, nothing, no, not really, too stressful. Okay, I was about to say, because you weren't really wiping your hands. You were just I had the pen in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for sure, Let's take they this. had to wipe their hands and just, um, you know, I thought just like throw away the towel. Wow. I mean, super. Uh, what, too. What's, what's going on right now? Because it's just like, you, not, wait, right wasn't the buzz was at the last Zeno? Yes, he was at Zeno this week. 